Hi, getting bored? Surely, it has been a long time that we all are staying home to stay safe. But do you remember your last vacation? We all need a break. Now, if we had to repeat the vacation, would you like to say, stay in the same hotel or look out for a new accommodation? And why? Can you tell me? Oh, come back, come back. I'm not encouraging you to take another vacation. It's just that today we are going to talk about hospitality management. So, come on board on Knowledge is One 2020 where we are going to discuss hospitality management in this session. So our learning objectives first, we are going to talk of hospitality management, functions of food and beverage departments in the hospitality industry, and these functions of the housekeeping department, different offices, different departments, and the career opportunities we'll cover in the coming lectures. Today, we'll talk of just hospitality management and no, don't just rush off to another vacation, stay at home. But let's go on a virtual trip, isn't it? We are all going to say, stay safe then. Chalo, let's check into the hotel. First, we have to go to the reception, get our keys, get our room. And how do you like the hotel? Is it good? See the receptionist, how she's taking care of and giving you the meals also, the keys and it's beautifully decorated, isn't it? This is the first step in a hotel. Come, let's continue. Let's go to your room. The room is well made. Look at the interiors, the lights, the furnishings, the color combinations. Isn't it nice? Good now? This is the housekeeping. Next, let's go to the next step. Bhook lag rahi hai? Wanna eat something? Wow, it has a nice restaurant. Just look at the young girl. It seems that she is celebrating her birthday, isn't it? Look at the decoration, the way the tables are set. The food and the beverage department is taking good care of this hotel. So finally, have you liked the hotel? Let's check in. Oh, so many facilities. The support service department, it is doing a wonderful job for kids. See, the pool room, swimming pool, everything is there. So, let's just check in and decide what we are going to do today. Hotel management and hospitality management. Do you think both of them are same? Obviously, they are similar but not same. Hotel management covers all the aspects of managing a hotel. So, the cooking part, the reception, all these. See, this is all part of hotel management. But when we talk of hospitality management, it is a diverse area and much wider than hotel management. It is much broader and it deals with the management of some other sections also like nightclubs, casinos, restaurant, transport. Hotels, so if you are on an airport, cruise, or even an event, it could be any event, marriages, uh, some resort. So these are all covered in hospitality management. Even hotel management is covered in hospitality management. So hospitality management is a broader version of hotel management. Whenever you go to a restaurant, I asked you, would you like to repeat it? So all the guests in a restaurant or a hotel must be received with warmth and given the best possible care and service in all respects. Obviously in our country this is our culture also that Atiti Devo Bhava that is our guest is our God and we should treat them like a guest. This photo it must remind you of the story of Sudama and Krishna. How beautifully he took care of Sudama without letting him realize the vari variation or the disparity between the two. He was treating, treated like a guest even by a king. But slowly what happened? With globalization, the world became a smaller place where people, people travel from one place to another very often. The world has shrunk. So though in the ancient time people stayed with the relations, friends or Generally, la dharamshala. Now, with the changing times, increasing trade, 
there is a necessity for paid services for hospitality where you can go pay for the services and get the services as per your requirements so what is the significance of this hospitality industry i'm sure you will you will be able to pinpoint it just start enumerating a few let's begin globalization it is a reason behind the exponential growth of hospitality industry why because of the increase in business people travel for marketing for their business meetings many official trips are also organized where you have to travel from one place to another often we just go for shopping you must have heard of many shopping festivals also to enjoy our leisure time vacation time also for our health for recreation for treatments also now there is a, such a lot of pollution sometimes we just want to get away from it and health reasons also uh, to get an operation done to get consultancy or even for studies for the study you also have you may, you also may have to travel if you want to pursue some specific courses then another reason can be to various to see various places now the reason can be to experience different cultures seeing heritage monuments or wildlife natural beauty for safaris etc also there is huge amount of advertisement for various festivals and fairs abhi a kumbh hota hai tab bhi you can hear the advertisement on the radio tv etc now it could be an advertisement for a shopping festival like dubai for shopping festival for wildlife tour the african safaris or even for events like pushkar ke mein jo kumbh hota hai जो पुष्कर का मेला होता है यू हैव सो मेनी फेस्टिवल्स विच आर ऑर्गेनाइज इन आर कंट्री इन केरला यू हैव बोट रेस सो मेनी इवेंट्स टू ट्रैवल सो मेनी रीजन्स टू ट्रैवल बट बिफोर वी मूव फर्दर टू द हॉस्पिटैलिटी इंडस्ट्री लेट अस जस्ट गेट अ फ्यू कंसेप्ट क्लियर इन दिस वीडियो द फर्स्ट इज वॉट आर द बेसिक कंसेप्ट इन दिस ऑब्वियसली वेन वी आर टॉकिंग ऑफ हॉस्पिटैलिटी वी नीड टूरिस्ट वॉट इज अ टूरिस्ट He is a person who travels from one place to another and stays temporarily in another place which is not his home. If you are in your house, you are not a tourist. And whenever you are traveling to another place, you need the comforts and facilities which are similar to what you are accustomed at home. Now suppose uh, imagine some celebrity or Ambani is going out for a vacation. They will need the comforts which they are used to at their homes. but if we are going out for a vacation we'll need the comforts which we are accustomed at home in our budget so we need a nice place to stay which is comfortable safe and hygienic then what is hospitality hospitality is the relationship between the guest and the host to ye hai hamara guest jo travel karne aa raha hai and this is the host the relationship between the two it defines hospitality if the relationship is good you would repeat the same uh, hotel and if it is not you won't you look out look out for some other host so these are the basic concepts how i feel like going out for a vacation but what can we do abhi we just can't stay so hospitality is the act or the practice of being hospitable and it includes friendly generous reception and welcoming of the guests providing entertainment and the services with warmth and courteousness providing a place to stay food to eat entertainment and other facilities like the pool transportation etc so that the stay is comfortable uh, all the students please remember that whatever is written on the video it covers whole of your syllabus from the ncert just pick up your paper and a pen copy and note down the points please don't just write down everything that is given in the book these are always prepared keeping in mind the notes you have to make for the exams so you can no just copy them and they can be uh, worked as your notes now let's understand the different types of establishments which offer hospitality services matlab kon kon si aisi jagahein hain jahan par you can get these services the first is a hotel of which we have been talking of continuously it is a commercial establishment which offers lodging meals and many other services it 
transport, recreational facilities, uh, swimming pool, many other facilities. So this is a hotel. Next you have a motel. Just remember, here H hai and in a motel you have M. So hotel plus M se kya hoga? Let's see. Services like a hotel. Is mein, hotel ki tarah you have the services. But what else is provided? It provides parking facility near the room. So M say it is motor. So hotel plus motor. This becomes a motel. A motor hai agar, if you have a parking just in front of your room or in front of the hotel, it means that it cannot be a very big hotel. You cannot have lot of luxuries or many multi-storied buildings. They are generally small one or two story buildings where the door opens directly to the parking of your motor or close to the parking area. Is the difference clear between a hotel and a motel? So motel is more basic in the facilities and hotel is more diverse. Then you have lodges. Lodges ye pehle jamane ke hote the where uh, the refugees were kept in the lodges. But now these are rented accommodations specially meant for sleeping. And it's not necessarily that they offer food and other services. So it is basically lodging that is sleeping area. Now, last of the resorts, these are very popular nowadays. Here, besides the lodging and meals, you also get leisure attraction. It could be many types of amenities like sports, leisure. It could be uh, adventure sports. So it is a total vacation. You don't have to go anywhere and pass your time in the resort itself. Then you have furnished apartments. That is, it is a room or a flat which is furnished with all the essential amenities. It is very common nowadays. Uh, baguette, bed and baggage, ya fir, uh, Airbnb, you get all the furnished apartments. This is the photo of a furnished apartment. See, you will get a furnished apartment. You will also have the kitchen. So some of the people who are interested in having their own kitchen, cook their own meals, can take furnished apartments. And last, you have furnished camps like this. These may be very uh, luxury camps also and they provide hospitality to the people who are more adventurous they like hiking undertake adventure sports trekking so these are adventure camps okay so these are the six types of facilities now what are the services which are offered where are the hospitality services used they can be in conventions or conferences the difference between convention and conferences is that clear Conferences are very big, there is a lot of speakers speaker bolta hai, baki log sunte hai. whereas the conventions, they are on a smaller scale, people discuss and look out for uh, some uh, solutions. So, this is not necessary, just remember that hospitality services, like a conference, you have seen here, in the seminars, vagera mein, the food which is provided, the services, the reception, it is the hospitality services. Then it could be events which include wedding or birthday parties or any theme parties. Monuments, India is a country very rich in monuments. Theme park, they could be adventure park, water parks, any parks. Then cruise, these cruise could be, uh, this is water cruise. Then you can have airport, transports, guest houses and amusement parks. Then adventure activities, trekking, hai, hiking. Hai. Par bhi ab dekho, there are so many uh, hospitality services where you are provided food, lodging and many other facilities. Then industries also. See this industry where lunch is provided, they are taken well care of. So this is all hospitality industries. Now let's discuss the departments or the sectors in the hospitality industry and we'll talk about all these departments and sectors in the next video. The first is the accommodation or the front office. See this is the accommodation and front office that is the reception. I took you, we began our journey into the hotel with the front office where we went to the reception. Then is the entertainment and recreation area you can just sit there, play carom, etc. Many Uske baad you have meeting and events. These are the different departments. You have meeting rooms, conference halls, and food and beverage section, the different restaurants or the eating places which are there in a hotel. And tourism. This is the biggest industry in the hospitality. Pahle it was only hotels, but tourism is fast emerging uh, field of economy. Now let us understand 
the stages of a guest cycle. Guest cycle? Yes, the whole process of our journey is also a guest cycle. How? Let us understand. First, remember our first slide? We arrived at the reception. But the guest cycle, it begins even before our arrival. Before arrival? How? Let us understand. Even before you have to go to a place, you start thinking, you start planning, you talk to many restaurants, many hotels, ask about their rates, in se aap baat karke, khana milega ya nahi, hame transport milega ya nahi, if we reach the airport or what railway station, will you arrange for the taxis? All this inquiry is done before arrival and this is pre-arrival stage. The next is arrival stage, that is, we have finally arrived at the hotel with our luggage. We'll go over to the reception, ask for the room, the keys, etc. Then, after we have taken the keys, we'll occupy the room, go in for food, uh, look how the room is, and finally, after our trip is over, what we do? We go back, we depart. So, these are the four stages, pre-arrival, arrival, occupancy and departure. So, what is a guest cycle? Why do we need it to have a better understanding of the different departments? So, you talk to many hotels before checking it. Lekin kya hota hai? A final kisi ek hotel ko karte ho. And it depends on the way the pre-arrival stage or the receptionist talks to you, tells you the facilities. So, it refers to the distinct stages of the guest interaction between hotel and the guest. Isse hum aage ke departments karte hain, isi se recruitment hota hai. So what were the four stages? Pre-arrival stage. And what is done in this? The rates are asked. The person concerned will tell you the rates. They will reserve the room as part of the central reservation system. The second is the arrival stage where the guest actually arrives and registers or checks, checks in. The third was occupancy where the various services as per the guest requirements are given. You, it is ensured that the coordination between the guest and guest services is done, proper room is allotted, good facilities are given and the main focus at occupation should be the satisfaction of the guest. If the guest is satisfied, then he may increase the duration of the stay, he may recommend your hotel to other persons and so you have to ensure and encourage guests to patronize your hotel and use the services of the establishment again. This is the stage where you can retain the customer loyalty and he might recommend your hotel to many other people, making it more economical and profitable for you. The last stage is the departure stage, which is the final stage of the guest cycle where the guest is ready to leave, move out or check out of the accommodation. Checking in, what do we mean by check in? Jab hum hotel ki keys, apne room ki keys lete hain, the moment we did sign in the register, of arrival and departure when we check out we give the keys back and go back to our house so at this stage the hospitality <clears throat> persons they will up to date the records of all the guests uh, they may ask your address your phone number and all the information they may also ask you to fill a feedback form and ask your opinion about the services how was it was it up to your expectations and what is the scope for improvement they might look out for these and uh, use it further to improve their services. So that is all in to today's video. Or hotel ki tarah se, I am also preparing the video. Give me your feedback. How did you like it in the comment box? I am waiting for your comments. They are the biggest motivation. If you have liked it, to give it a thumbs up. Agar kisi aur ko acha lage, to please share it. And if you haven't, do subscribe to my channel. Knowledge is fun 2020. See you in the next video with the second part where we'll talk of the different departments. Thanks for now.